It's the Ruth Bader Ginsburg's new winter line. So this is some ash that I had, and it is 11 inches in length, looks like an inch and three quarters, so a pretty shallow vessel. But I wanted to try out a new technique. Just measure diagonal to diagonal, and you're roughly going to get the center. And that hole is going to allow me to mount this on my circle cutting jig. So this jig has a bolt that rides in a slot, and all we do is measure five and a half inches from the blade and tighten our bolt down. I'll turn on the bandsaw. The blade that I'm using is way too thick for this. It's a resaw blade, but I didn't have another one. And it's having a really hard time with this radius. The jig's great, but my blade's the wrong choice. I keep taking it real slow, and we're almost through now. But we're close enough, we're roundish, and uh, should be able to go to the lathe now. All right, and I've got this mounted on the lathe. It is around 11 inches, pretty close to my max here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rough it, and then start making a bowl shape here. Okay, so I think you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just creating a recess, and that's going to allow me to turn this whole thing around and mount it in my chuck jaws. Oh, that's shaking like crazy. And right, see where I can put you where you're not going to just be seasick. Yeah, that's better. You can still hear it shaking, but at least you don't have to be shaking with it. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good surface. I'm also going to be painting the outside, so I'm taking that up to 180, and I think we'll go a little bit more on the inside. And the bowl scraper leaves us with a really nice surface. So what we're left with after turning is a very shallow bowl. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint the back black. And I'm using uh, just acrylic black paint. Ash has a really cool and distinct grain pattern, which I'm hoping is going to show up through the, the black. All right, and it's got two coats of the black paint on it good and dry now. So the next step is breaking out the hot glue gun. So the idea for this project actually came from Mike Walt. He has a channel here on YouTube and I will put a link to it. He is a wood turner. He also does lots of creative projects and shoots beautiful video. He actually used this technique on a goblet. I would definitely recommend you checking him out. He also has an excellent beginner series which really gives you an in-depth on each tool and how to get started wood turning. I don't want to touch hot glue do I? Yeah, that's not quite dry yet. That is wild. I've actually made a very pretty bowl. I painted it super nice, and I've absolutely drenched it in hot glue. All right, moving forward. Went out and I bought some spray paint. This is Apple Red Gloss. It looks like some sort of confection at this point, or a disease. I guess it really could go either way. I'll be honest, I've really been looking forward to this.
pretty much all came off in one piece. I was honestly expecting it to be a bit harder than that. Do I like it? I'm um, not sure. It's definitely interesting. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think the technique was really fun to do. Um, I just wonder if I made the right choice with the colors. I think it's a little more Harley Quinn, and I tend to be a bit more Penguin. If you like red, I think this might be the bowl for you. The other thing is, is that when it's sitting flat, it's such a shallow bowl, you can't really even see. <laughs> it's a good size bowl, but I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. I can't tell. So I'm gonna leave this in your hands. There are two comments from me down below. One says keep it, one says kill it. You decide this bowl's fate. If I keep it, I'll you know put it in my, my bag of show and tell and when I go around from place to place, I'll bring this with me. If it's kill it, I'll give it to my wife and we'll make another burn it episode. Regardless, it is a fun technique and I definitely recommend you going and checking out Mike Wald's videos. Uh, he gets a very similar look, but it's such a different piece that I don't know, maybe it just works a little better. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.